what you're doing when you're thinking this way is you're opening yourself up to possibilities. Hello, and welcome to the Innovative Mindset Podcast. I'm your host, Isolde Trachtenberg. On the show, I interview peak performing world changers in the creative, social impact, and vegan spaces. If you like what you hear on this episode, you're going to want to check out the bonus mini episode that you can access if you DM me at Isolde T on Instagram and you let me know you want it. You'll get access to bonus episodes, new art, my latest writing, and other fun benefits. And now, let's get to the show. Hey there, this is Isolde Trachtenberg for the Innovative Mindset Podcast. Super happy you're here. I'm doing a walking and talking, recording podcast episodes jaunt today. And I am still kind of north of Union Square in Manhattan in New York City. And I want to talk to you about how to think creatively and how to think innovatively, no matter what it is you're doing. This is an important topic because if you're doing the same old, same old, I think, I don't know if it's Tony Robbins who said it, but he's the one who's given credit for it. If you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to get the same results you've always gotten. It's a paraphrase of what he said, but it's really true. So if what you want to do is something new and different, then you're going to need to think creatively and innovatively. But how do you do it? How do you think creatively and innovatively? What do you need to do in order to get to that part of yourself? Okay, two little words. The words are, what if? super powerful words. If you use those in everything that you do, what if I tried? What if I did? What if I said? It's going to change things for you, right? What if I made coffee instead of tea this morning? What if I made tea instead of coffee? What would be different, right? And that different experience, even if it's slightly different, a tiny difference is going to be monumental because it's going to change the way you think even a little tiny bit right? Even if it changes it just a tiny bit, it still changes it. And those incremental changes can end up making huge, huge differences in how you do what you do. So that's the first thing, the the what if. Another couple of little words, imagine if. Imagine if is another way of doing all of this. Imagine if you were, imagine if I were to, those are all things that you can do right now, without even thinking about it. You can just start saying those words and see what pops up. Imagine if I were to do stand-up comedy. Imagine if I were to write a book. Imagine if I sat in the middle of Union Square and had a microphone and an iPad and was recording podcast episodes and had dozens of people walk by me and look at me funny. What would happen? Well, I love that this is happening because it's different. People are noticing that I'm here because I'm different. It's not normal to see someone, even in New York City, hanging out just by herself, sitting on a slab of concrete. Uh, It's one of those protection things, you know, I don't know what they're called. Uh, And I'm sitting here and I'm I'm recording episodes and, and everybody who walks by, and I'd say maybe 150 people have walked by, pretty much everybody who's walked by, if they look my way, stop and kind of go, huh, what's going on there? And I haven't yet asked somebody to come and, and do a little interview with me, but I might. That that would be really interesting. Just because I want to think creatively and innovatively, I might just go, hey, would you like to come? If somebody takes a close enough interest, I might just ask them, hey, do you want to be interviewed? And ask them something about themselves and see if I can make their day a little bit more creative too. And that's the whole point is that what you're doing when you're thinking this way is you're opening yourself up to possibilities, Right. That is how you do it. You start asking yourself those questions. And most importantly, you want to build the awareness inside yourself when that little bit of inspiration strikes, right? So you don't just go imagine if and then finish the sentence and then don't pay attention to what you've said, right? Imagine if I were to go to the ocean tomorrow. What would that be like, right? What would it take for me to be able to do that? And then I work from there. So those are very important aspects of who you are and what you can do because you start asking those questions, but then you also build the awareness inside yourself to know. And I know I keep slowing down for this because it it moves me so much because I want for you so much the the ability and the, 
the complete pleasure and celebration of thinking creatively. And you do it by imagining that you are creative because you are, but accepting that you are, and then staying open to inspiration when it strikes. So it's no longer just imagine if or what if, it's building the awareness that inspiration is going to strike, that you're going to start getting perhaps little ideas, perhaps even huge grandiose ones. You're going to start getting ideas. And then I'm going to ask you to go ahead and get excited about some of them, right? Some might be completely out of, I want to go be, imagine if I were an astronaut. I wanted to be an astronaut when I was a kid. No such luck. Flat feet, bad eyes. No way was I going to be an astronaut, but I did work at NASA for many years. So I approximated it, right? But see, that's the thing is I went through and figured out what's the closest thing I can do. Well, I could work at NASA and I did. It started with imagine if I were to, and then I followed the thread. So when you start doing that, when you start following the thread, it lets you open that part of yourself, that creative part of yourself that is actually so beautiful and wonderful and lovely and it wants to be active, right? That's the whole thing. None of that is, is a, a deadened part of you. It's just dormant. So to find it, to be available to it, all you need to do, truthfully, is to allow yourself the possibility of it. So being open to the possibilities, super important. Even as you're here, even as you're thinking about it, even as you're listening to this, I ask you right now to go, what, what if I, and see what pops up. See if there's something creative that goes, oh, that would be super cool. And even if you just immediately go, oh, but no, that's okay. Because that's the next step. The not ignoring what comes up is the next step, right? So first, what if or imagine if, then see what comes up and then try not to ignore it. And once you no longer ignore it, those thoughts and those ideas are going to come faster and more furiously until ultimately you want to act on one. And that is how you do it. Pretty simple. <laughs> I know, I know it's not simple, but it's something that you can really do. I promise. All righty. Uh, we're going to talk a lot more about this because this whole notion of creative thinking and innovative thinking is so important. Innovation is a little bit more focused, right? It is focused on solving problems. Creativity can be creativity for its own sake. Innovation is looking at new and unique ways to solve problems that you're having or that people are having or that your clients or customers or audience is having. You're looking for new ways to serve them. You're looking for new ways to do what you're trying to do, but in a way that's cool and enticing and engaging and inspiring and and attractive to the people who might be your clients, customers, or audience. That's the whole point, right? But you better love what you're doing. And that's a whole other <laughs> podcast episode. But yeah, if you're going to spend a lot of time thinking about it, if you're going to spend a lot of time brainstorming and envisioning and design thinking and all of that about a, a topic, you better love that topic. So if you don't love the topic you're needing to innovate on or be creative about, consider if you can find a way to use a different topic or talk about a different topic. But if you can't, then find what you can love about that topic because you're going to be thinking about it a lot. So it's a really good idea to figure out what you love about it. Okie doke. This is Isolde Trachtenberg for the Innovative Mindset Podcast, reminding you to be bold, be creative, and most of all, be kind. <laughs>Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. Please subscribe to the podcast if you're new, and it would mean the world to me if you told a friend about it. Today's episode was produced by Isolde Trachtenberg and is copyright 2022. As always, please remember this is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Past performance does not guarantee future results, although we can always hope. Until next time, remember to be bold, be creative, and most of all, be kind. Thank you.